Hello everyone and welcome back to The Little Quilter. Today we are going to be laying out and sewing together the kite in a square block. So this is what the block is going to look like and these are all of the little kites I've made. I've made so many. Um, this project I will just say has been quite the project. Um, so a lot of little blocks, there was a lot of chain sewing. So if you are somebody who loves to chain sew blocks, then this is the quilt for you to make. Um, it was really easy, you know, going through and I pieced up, you know, cut all of these little kite, and kite blocks and then did all of these little pieces and just basically chain sewed one side, took it out, pressed all of them, chain sewed the next side. Um, because of the way that my free time is, I was able to do this, you know, for a few minutes here and there and complete the quilt slowly over time on like lunch breaks or just for 20 minutes a day after my little girl's gone to sleep. So the other thing that worked really well was this OmniGrid carrying case. So it folds open on one side, I have a cutting mat. On the other side, I have the ironing board and I could just put my blocks in here, fold it over and carry it with me to my daughter's gym class or swim class and have a little bit of free time while I was watching her do that to just do things like using the block lock roller to cut everything or iron it. And I've been using this, um, I don't know how you say this company, Oliso, Oliso one. I used to have a different, you guys, if you've watched for a while, you guys probably remember I had a different little iron that was a travel iron. And I switched to that one because there was a recall on that one. So I was afraid. I think the recall was actually in Canada, but I was just afraid. And so I got a new one and I was able to get a pink one. So it worked out well. But all of that aside, what we're going to do now is I'm going to work on laying this out. My design to remind you guys was to do a gradient quilt. So starting with um, you know some more like orangey tans and progressing through the color wheel to give it that gradient effect. Um, I've really liked those quilts for a long time and I think I finally found the fabric that will work well. The end result block will be this block right here, but they won't all be the same color as it progresses through the quilt. So enough talking and let's jump into laying this out and see what we get. Okay, so I have a bit of a snafu in that I don't have enough blocks for the quilt. I thought that I did, but I didn't actually go through and count. I had just done a lot of strips and cut them and was approximating, so I was a little bit short. I'm actually okay with that though because this allows me to get the colors that I need to finish it because it was getting a little sparse on some of the areas of the quilt. So, and I want to tweak, I want to tweak it a little bit too. So, let me show you. Okay, so we're looking at the quilt here and so these are all of the pieces that I am missing over here, about 16 blocks. And then I've got the rest of this quilt running through here. And I like the gradient that's going. I really like this sort of fluctuation here. I think what I want to do, so I have this green block here. I want to try and change this green block pathway to go more, a little more in the center and scooch things a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Obviously, once you start changing one thing, it really changes the whole thing. So I don't want to get too, too crazy in it. And that way too, I can swap some of these greens out a little bit and that will put a little bit more blues on this side. 
And so really, I think I need to cut some more blues. I definitely need to cut some more purples and more pinks. And then I think I'll be okay with these of scooching them down a little bit and then filling in a little bit more with the other colors that I need to go ahead and get. So I think I don't really actually need to cut any more of the orange ones. I think if I just scooch those down and kind of make my corner there and then scooch my greens over and put a little bit more blues here. So really I'm just looking at purples and purples and pinks that probably need to be cut, but I think it looks really cool. I'm pretty excited about it, honestly. So yeah, let me get to working on that, so. All right, so I've got these done and I think I've got enough to go ahead and fill in all of the gaps that I am missing. And then we should be ready to start sewing this all together. So let's get to that. Okay, everybody, so I have got these three rows here, as you can see. I got those finished hanging up here just so that the pups and kids don't run all over them. And then I'll show you on the floor. So on the floor here, I have the two rows that all of the blocks are put together. What I then decided to do was to stack over here out of the way the remaining blocks that I need to go ahead and sew together. And so what I decided was it was a lot easier to sew these blocks together and keep them order and faster if I just stacked them up in that line and then went, took them as one block across the entire row. And I should be showing you guys a little snippet of that right now. And do that, take it over to my sewing machine and sew them all in one sort of chain sewing process and then go back and chain sew them together. And that made the process a lot faster and I've been moving through the, quick, the quilt top a little bit faster. So hopefully the next time that I see you guys, I will have finished that and we'll be moving on to the borders of the quilt because I do have a design layout for the borders. I will say this, that I am a little bit surprised in that this quilt really has shrunk. So the number of blocks that I had to make to make this quilt is quite a lot. And then as I have gotten it pieced together, it really has gotten a lot smaller. And so I think it's going to end up being a little bit smaller than what I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. And honestly, I couldn't do a bigger quilt because I've ran out of fabric. So I was trying to stretch some of those. So not completely ran out, but in order to do that gradient, I've ran out. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. So hopefully the next time that you guys see me, I will have finished the quilt top and we'll be doing just the binding of the quilt top. And then we can talk about the next part or next step in this quilt because I still have something else that I want to try with this quilt. So until next time, guys, hope you have a great day. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Have a great day.